Hello everybody! Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today's video, we're going to be doing sustainable living crochet ideas. I use this word loosely. It's kind of like, why pay for it when you can make it? Also, if you don't want to spend money on things like washcloths, things like that, you know? This is what I think sustainable living is. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some of you guys requested a sustainable living crochet idea video. So this is 30 sustainable living crochet ideas for you as a beginner to do to make your life more sustainable. So we have four categories for this. We have bathroom stuff, kitchen, household cleaning things, and then a miscellaneous category. Like always in every one of these videos, everything I say will be listed in the description box below in the order that I say them, linked to a video tutorial or written pattern for you to find. If for some reason you don't want to watch this whole video and you just want to skip around, I will have everything marked down in chapter markers so you can just click, click, click and skip along if you want to skip to a certain category. I'm not gonna lie, this was one of the hardest videos so far to find projects for. Also disclaimer, there will be no clothing category in this one because I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware if you're making your own clothing, that's fair, that's pretty sustainable, okay? So um, this is mostly like everything that's not clothing. So if you're making your own sweaters or your own pants or shirts, that's sustainable, girly, okay? There's just no clothing category in this video. Also, before I get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's giving me so much love on all of my videos. And if you're commenting, I'm reading, I read every single comment. And I want to give an extra, extra super thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my super thanks for sending me donations and supporting me, sending me love and money to buy more yarn and make these videos for you, collect all of this for you, okay? I love you. Let's get started. Category number one. We've got bathroom stuff, okay? Things that go in the bathroom. If you have kids, this one's for you. These super cute friend scrubby, scrubby friends. I almost said friend scrubbies. Scrubby friends. They basically make loofahs cute and you make them with, I'm assuming 100% cotton yarn. I would not use acrylic yarn for anything I'm going to give you as an idea. I would use 100% cotton if you really want to be sustainable. So uh, look at these little scrubby friends. If your kids are having trouble washing their bodies or they're just like, screw you, mom. I don't want to clean myself. This loofah's ugly. You can make a cute one. There you go. Next, we have adult loofahs, obviously, because they don't need to be cute. So we got this like this tan adult loofah and this teal adult loofah. But in this picture, if you can also see, there's a basket full of like washcloths and also cotton pads for like washing your face you can make this is like a double whammy okay there's a loofah that's an idea also this basket to hold all your skincare products that's an idea instead of buying like a cheap plastic one you can make your own basket and a washcloth is in this picture and these little face scrubbies another thing is specifically these little cotton scrubbies that have their own little basket with like little handle. I thought that was really cute. So I put that in there too. And these soap savers. So I didn't know what a soap saver was until I was researching for this video. Apparently you can put a bar of soap in like a soap saver pocket. Okay. And it makes you use less of the soap. Also, you're less likely to drop the soap and get it all over the floor. So it's kind of cool. You can grip the soap better and it's supposed to basically make your bar soap last longer. I thought that was pretty cool and then also these little like um they're face scrubbies but they can also be used for your body but they have like a little place for your hand to slide in the back with like a little almost like a little band on the back of them so you can kind of hold while they scrub and this like loop stitch makes it kind of like a loofah or like a scrubby scrub you know next category we have kitchen supplies kitchen things so i love this waffle stitch washcloth or dishcloth pattern i thought that was really cute and you can make uh, pot scrubbies. So like with this one, it's kind of like uh, you crochet with net. But for this green one, there are actually, I will show you an example. You can get sugar and cream, 100% cotton, scrub off, okay? And they have like this rough scrubby yarn so you can make scrubbies like this, okay? 
just FYI, I just bought this yesterday because I wanted to make scrubbies. After I researched for this video, I was like, I want to make those. So I went and got some of that. But yeah, you can get this sugar and cream scrubby yarn from Joann's or Michael's or wherever. Um, another thing other than scrubbies is like bowl covers. What are these called? There's this chicken one. Basically, when your bowl is really hot and it burns your hands, you can get you can make these chicken ones. Kind of like the chicken pot holders in my other video chicken bowl covers if you have a mom who likes chickens and oh and this like flower shaped one i like those people i know people sew those but yeah you can crochet them too just be sure you're not using acrylic when you're using anything like pot holders or mittens to pull things out of the oven don't use acrylic that's basically plastic and it will just melt so be careful with that also there's a bottle scrubby okay you can put it on top of like a wooden spoon and you can scrub the inside of mason jars or cups or bottles or whatever. That's sustainable. And love me some pot holders. But it's also a pot holder and an oven mitt in the shape of a pie. So two for one. You don't got to buy your pot holders. You don't got to buy oven mitts. It's a two for one pie pot holder slash oven mitt. And you can also make these mason jar cozies. So you don't have to buy those like really thick ones you can get. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what that material is, but you can make your own. And you can also make like market bag slash hold my fruit in my kitchen bag things. Also make these like towel ring holders and these pot pan protectors. You can s these slide in between your pans to make your pans last longer. They don't get all scuffed up. That's sustainable. For the next category, we have cleaning supplies. You can make these Swiffer um covers like reusable covers clean your floor with whatever your product is and then toss those puppies in the washer and reuse them you don't have to keep buying the like the feathery like you know what i'm talking about you don't have to keep buying the swiffer replacements if you don't want to now another version of this is like the mop version it's like this loop stitch those are pretty cool and this other one specific to swiffer swiffer is like another loop kind of stitch one you can make these like they look kind of like crocodiles, but they're for your blinds, okay? So instead of, like, using your Swiffer duster and getting it everywhere, you can actually use a pair of tongs or your hands and make this and just go in all of your blinds or whatever. Another thing is, if you know those, like, Swiffer duster thingies that you can flick and stuff flies everywhere, you can actually, instead of buying replacements, you can make your own replacements and toss those puppies in the washer just saying or you can hand wash them if you're that sustainable i'm like not i'm not that sustainable if i'm being completely honest and then we have the last category which is miscellaneous everything that didn't fit in every other category you can make doll clothes if you have children and you want and they're like mommy mommy i want this mom why doesn't my doll have a jacket mom why doesn't my doll have a dress and that shit's expensive very expensive girl crochet it crochet a jacket for that doll crochet some shoes for that doll crochet headband do whatever you want honestly crochet doll bought doll like clothing that's pretty sustainable and if you have cats you can make your cat toys you don't have to buy your cat toys you can make them look at this little cute kitty enjoying a cat toy carrot cat toy okay you can also make these simple mice toys you can make them um, uh, a little more elaborate like you can make this like dead fish toy if you're a little more advanced on the beginner side but advanced you can also make these little socks for the legs of your chairs and your tables to make your chairs and tables last longer just saying and keep them from scuffing up the floor so if you have kids who like to pull their chair in and out a bunch of times you can put those little things on the bottom of them also if you want to make a crochet hook organizer container get a mason jar and get this pattern and make a lid for it and there you go you got all your hooks organized sustainable cute and that is 30 sustainable living crochet ideas for beginners for you if you want the pictures to any of the stuff that i showed you in this video i do have a linked pinterest board in the description box below so if you're a pinterest girl and you want it on your Pinterest, go save it, girl. Go save it. Also, thank you 
for subscribing if you're not subscribed go subscribe please it really helps me out and it's free and it only takes like two seconds to do you just smack that button and if you hit the notification button you won't miss a crochet idea video from me just saying smart people subscribe also if you love these videos and you love how much work i put into them and you want to give me a little extra love a little extra love say you're already subscribed say you already watched the video and commented maybe you want to send a super thanks you could do that that is something you could do i'm just saying and i could buy more yarn and maybe like some chipotle i'm really hungry if you have any video ideas that you have or any questions about anything in this video leave it in the comment section below i read all your comments i try to reply to everybody that has a question if i miss it i'm sorry i am i'm truly sorry if you have anything to say about my sustainable ideas put it in the comments if you have more i had a really hard time finding ideas for this video if i'm being completely honest so if you have any more ideas that i could have added put them in the comments for the other beginners put them in there and if you need more go look for them girl go look someone's leaving them down there for you just saying i'm losing daylight i love you goodbye thank you for watching bye